From the central Missouri courtroom to the ledgers of school districts, one ruling from a judge has changed so much for education leaders in a short time. It was last month when a judge in Cole County ruled public health orders related to COVID-19 are invalid. Missouri's attorney general then told school districts they had to stop enforcing masking, quarantines, and any other coronavirus-related mandate. Last week, the state's treasurer took it a step further, telling districts if they didn't comply, they'd lose help refinancing bond debt. KSHB 41 I team reporter Sarah Plake talked to two local school districts taking a hard look at their bottom line. Ten school districts in Missouri got this letter from the state treasurer's office, and they were given a choice, sign it or lose out on bond savings. We were given last Monday the, the, the option of either if we want our bond refunding to go through on Wednesday of last week, we, I was going to have to sign that. Um, and so, or it would not be able to go through. School districts go through a state program to refinance bonds and get lower rates, and all 10 who received this letter are in that process. State Treasurer Scott Fitzpatrick is telling them that he won't approve their bonds unless they acknowledge they're complying with the Attorney General's cease and desist order to stop COVID protocols like masking and quarantines. The North Platte School Board decided to sign off on that letter. The superintendent telling me that this is about students' education and taxpayer money. It boiled down to if we wanted to save what was going to roughly be $972,005 for our taxpayers, um, being able to do some capital projects sooner. We'd like to do a remodeling of our elementary building and put a, a tornado shelter room down there. Harrisonville School District has not signed the compliance letter yet and is negotiating with the treasurer's office about the language. It's just holding us accountable for something. This is a long process, so something that may change even a year from now, um, I, you know, I, I don't want to put us in any, any danger of future litigation or or consequences of perjury. With the state bond program, Harrisonville would save about $330,000 because of the state's AA plus credit rating. If districts don't sign the letter, they'll need to use their own credit rating. And if you're a small district, your credit rating is small too, which means less savings. I know a lot of superintendents felt like we're put between a rock and a hard place. Are we going to um, are we or are we going to save that money, or are we going to leverage the the future of the, the district? And so, it's it's it's, it's a tough spot to be in, really. Many school districts are already in compliance with what the AG's office wants. As of Monday afternoon, Lone Jack, Warren, North Platte, and Hannibal have signed the letter. Harrisonville, Holden, Afton, Thayer, Oregon, Howell, and Windsor have not. Sarah Plake, KSHB 41 News.